Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything politics, especially about the 2023 presidential election. In this video, I want to talk about the two court cases that if they go ahead, will help the APC and the PDP to cancel each other out, one way or the other. but which would also enrich our democracy. And uh, it all has to do with the indictment of the, of the presidential candidates of the All Progressive Congress, as well as Bola Be Chibubu, by American courts. This has led to threats of courts from both sides. So that's what we are going to look at today in this particular video to see how it may pan out and why it is important. And I, I will state my position after we go through the nitty gritty of this particular story. Uh, you know already that in 1993, a court in the United States indicted the presidential candidates of the All Progressive Congress, as well as the over alleged link with drug cartel and money laundering, for which Aswadbola Metinibu forfeited $460,000 to the United States government. This matter, which happened 30 years ago, resurfaced because the presidency of a country it's not a joking matter. You must be found worthy in character in this society to aspire to be the president of a country. And normally during occasions like this, elections like this, things are going to come out to prove whether you are qualified to contest for a position or not. So that is what we are seeing with the latest digging out of Aswadibola Metinubu's alleged link with drug organizations or the organization in 1993. Now, because of this, a People's Democratic Party has threatened to go to court. But before I go into that, if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, You'll be among the first to know. God bless you. The leadership of the PDP said it was considering legal action to compel INEC to enforce the ruling of a United States court in Illinois, Chicago, indicting the APC presidential candidate, Bola Metinubu, of drug related offenses. National Publicity Secretary of APC, Dabo Ologun, Ologun Abba, said at a press conference in Abuja that all options are on the table as we have done before. So he said that all options, the option of going to court is at the table. According to the PDP, Section 137 of the 1999 Constitution, Barred Tinubu from contesting next year's 
presidential election because he has been indicted for drug-related offenses and Nigeria is signatory to International Convention on Drugs and Money Laundering. Section 137.1d of the 1999 Constitution as amended provides that a person shall not be qualified for election to the office of president D if he is under a sentence of death imposed by any competent court of law or tribunal in Nigeria or the sentence of uh, imprisonment or fine for any offense involving dishonesty or fraud by whatever name called or for any other offense imposed on him by any court or tribunal or substituted by a competent authority for any other sentence imposed on him by such a court or tribunal. According to the PDP, for clarity, for future means something to which the right is lost. As for commission of a crime or misdeed, neglect of duty or violation of a contract. It is instructive to know that trafficking in narcotic is an international crime to which all nations are obliged and mandated to apprehend, prosecute, and enforce any order or judgment imposed on any offender by a competent court anywhere in the world. For emphasis, the U.S. courts ordered that the funds in the amount of $460,000 in account number 26322-6700 held by First Heritage Bank in the name of Bola Tinubu represents proceed to narcotic trafficking or were involved in financial transactions in violation of 18 USC S1956 and 1957 and therefore these funds are forfeited to the United States government pursuant to 21 USC 5 USC 5881 AB and 18 USC 98. So these are the technical numbers that you used to identify that particular case that involve us with Bola These are the, the laws of United States that he, that he violated. Uh, going forward, the PDP also said, having been sentenced and fined by way of criminal forfeiture of 460,000 drug money in a criminal suit filed pursuant to the United States criminal code, as well as Tinubu cannot by virtue of Section 137.1D of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, seek office as President of Nigeria. So this is the groundwork through which the PDP hope to stop Aswadi Bolami Tinubu from contesting in the coming election. They are citing Section 137 that Independent National Electoral Commission should enforce it. And they themselves, they are threatening to go to court because INEC is not ready to enforce anything. So they have to go to court if they are serious to force INEC to force to force INEC to move against Aswadibola and Bechinobu. Now, while a PDP is threatening to go to court, APC is also threatening to go to court. As Wadibola Metinubu 
has vowed to sue some media organizations over alleged fake news and character assassination. Dinobu accused the media organizations of assassinating his character over alleged drug trafficking case previously treated in the United States. The Director of Media and Publicity, APC Presidential Campaign Council, by Onanoga, in a statement via his Facebook page, said a suit will be filed over the case sooner than later. So you can see that the atmosphere had, has been created for the two parties, APC and PDP, for a battle royale that will cancel each other out or cancel one of them out of the, of the election. But somebody is telling APC to tread carefully. A member of APC, a chieftain of APC, is telling the APC to tread carefully that courts could be a bad thing for APC. And that person is uh, Adamu Garba II. Adamu Garba II is a chieftain of APC, uh, but uh, he defected to YPP during the primaries to try his luck whether he will emerge the presidential candidate of YPP. When he did not succeed, he has returned back to APC and is now campaigning for Swadi Balame Tidomo. He's one of the uh, social media influencers that they are using to, to challenge uh, the dominance of the obedience on the social media. So this chieftain of APC, Adamu Garba II, he said in his Twitter handle that an attempt to sue some media houses due to a smear campaign against our principal in the heat of the campaign period is counter productive and may be unnecessary. Going into court proceeding right now will drag unnecessary attention and resources to the negative, which in turn may obliterate our media partners with whom we need handshake to deliver the common good for Nigerians under the leadership of Aswadi Bolabe Tidubo and the APC. So this guy is saying, wait a minute, don't go to court. Court will create more problems for us. Court will draw more attention to this issue. Let us allow it to die down. We can handle it without going to court. Now, for this same reason he is fearing, this is the reason, it's part of the reason why I want this matter to go to court. I want APC to go to court. I want APC to take this matter to court. They should stop press, uh, issuing threats on, uh, 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 through press conferences. PDP should go to court and test this matter in court. And now, why do I support this? Because it will make our democracy to be strong. Let us even test this section 137 to find out whether it's applicable to Aswad Bola This is important because if it is applicable to Aswad Bola that he cannot contest, then it is good for our democracy because it shows that if you are linked to drugs, if you are indicted for drug trafficking, or drug money, uh, money laundering, or transactions that involve drug, and you are indicted, you cannot contest elective position in Nigeria. You cannot emerge president, governor, or any other elective position. So it is good to go and test it in court. It will make our democracy richer. It will make our countries, our country, uh, jurisprudence richer. So that is why I support it. Because we are living in a country where 
if these things are allowed to, to go like this without challenge, any person in the future who have been, who is a drug baron, who have been involved in drugs, can come out and aim to be president of Nigeria. Okay? And if that kind of thing continue, then we don't need an organization like the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. We could as well scrap it. Scrap it. It's unnecessary. Anybody can be president of Nigeria, whether you're a drug baron, you're an alleged drug baron, or whatever. Character doesn't matter. So that is why this section 137 should be tested in court. And I, I, I encourage PDP and uh, to go to court over this matter. Let the PDP go to court to determine whether by virtue of section 137, Tinubu is eligible to be in the, on the ballot paper for this coming election. And another reason why I like this case to be in court is because it will help to damage the APC and save the country from APC emerging victorious in this coming election. Why do I believe this? Well, while the case is in court, it will draw the attention of the international community. And they will get to know that the presidential candidate of the ruling APC is in court to clear his name in respect of his alleged indictment for narcotics, drug trafficking, and money laundering. Now, this is, a, this is very damaging. It will damage the reputation of APC. It will damage the reputation of the candidates. Because when media, international media organization, organizations began to carry all this, it will rubbish the APC. It will rubbish this presidential candidate. We know that in this country, people are shameless, but they are always concerned about the international community. Why they can endure the embarrassment at home here, they don't want to, to be embarrassed internationally. So when this thing is in the front burner, it will help to damage their reputation. People will look at them differently internationally and uh, it will damage them also in terms of the way Nigerians, Nigerians perceive them. And you know, perception is everything. So while the, the matter is in court, it will be in the papers, on television, on radio, in beer parlors, in viewing houses, in churches and mosques, it will be the subject of discussion everywhere. So it will generate negativity against a person. And at the end of the day, there are those who are undecided who will be forced to say, no, we cannot go ahead with this kind of person as our president. And they will vote against a person. Okay? And at the end of the day, even if the courts, in its wisdom, believe that that's what Bolamit Tinubu should be in the ticket, his reputation could have been destroyed by the, by, the, by the weeks in which this matter will be subject of court, subject of news, subject of court, and what have you. So that is why it is good for those who want change in Nigeria. And that is why I think that PDP should not make the mistake of not going to court. Let it not be grandstanding that they are doing. Let them go to court. It is in the interest of the opposition that this matter is taken to court. And I advise the Labour Party to also join in the matter in demanding that PDP, uh, APC presidential candidate should be disqualified based on this section 137. 
Because let us be frank about this. If the table were torn and there was allegation of indictment of the presidential candidate of Labour Party, P2B, or the presidential candidate of PDP, Atiku Abaka, Tinubu and the APC would have gone to court to ensure that they are disqualified. Tinubu is adept in using the court to achieve his aim. We all know how he was able to use the court to collect governorship seats from the PDP. Arebo Shola is a, is, 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 is a governor that emerged through the court. Fire me through the court. And there's many governors from the Southwest. They emerged through the court, through the instrumentality of Aswad Bola Metinubu. So if he is in a position, in a, in a, in a, a, the table were, were to turn, and this allegation was against Atiku or Pitobi, I can bet my button dollar that Tinubu will be in court. That is why it is important that APC, PDP and the Labour Party they should ensure that this section 137 is interpreted by the court. Because if they are waiting for INEC, INEC is not going to do anything. INEC will allow Tinubu to participate in this election unless it is compelled by a court order to strike out his name from the race through the interpretation of section 137. Of course, the section can say, okay, he's qualified, fine and good. But go and do what Tidubu would have done if he was in, their, in your case. That is the advice to PDP and Labour Party. It is not to be shouting or to be threatening on press conference that uh, you go to court. You know, you do the thing. Don't, don't stop making noise. Because if, the, if, if, if it is... APC that has this opportunity, APC will not threaten anybody. You will just see the court papers. The court notice will be presented to you that you are required to be in court to come and explain why you should be allowed to participate in the presidential election. So that is what the, what the PDP should do. And I advise APC to, I advise uh, Labour Party to join in this, this suit so that if the court decide that that section 137 stands, that Tinubu cannot be part of this election, his name will be struck out of the race. And that will be a good thing for the country. The country will have been saved from uh, the APC. Because this country cannot endure another four years or eight years of APC. So it will be a good thing. If the court agrees with the ruling of the United States court that he was indeed indicted and therefore, based on our law, he cannot be able to be president of Nigeria. You know? So this kind of scandal is good for politics. It is good for politics. So it is good for PDP and Labour Party to exploit this opportunity to the fullest. Let them go to court. They should not be shying away from that. Let them go to court and challenge this matter. Even if they lose in court, even if the court rule that Tinubu is qualified to go ahead with the race, they will enrich our jurisprudence, they will enrich our democracy and make it stronger and better. And also make any other person who want to be president of Nigeria to know that people are going to dig out things, scandals about you. But if you are innocent, the court will be there to stand by you. But if 
you are not innocent, the court will allow the law to take its course on you. It was a, a political scientist, Brandon Rottenhouse, who said, by their nature, scandals are like Ferrari fires, easy to flare, difficult to control, and hard to stop. So this scandal, APC will be doing a lot to stop it, but PDP and Labour Party should not allow them to stop it. Let it be stopped only by the court of law. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless.